Hi, Taurus. Okay, so we have Strength, Major Arcana. We have the Six of Swords, and we have the Four of Pentacles. So the Strength card, I think we saw that recently, and the Strength card in this illustration is very charming, very cute. With Strength, the message to you is to uh, appreciate that you have the inner strength and you have what it takes to get you through tough times. Whatever you may be facing, whatever's coming down the pike for you, if you've had a rough couple days, if you've had a rough month, is to not lose sight of the fact that you have courage, you have a big heart, and that heart and your courage and your determination to do the right thing can really help you out. And with the strength card, there's a sense of, of showing strength through compassion, through kindness, through vulnerability, through love. And uh, instead of having to force people, I always get a sense that with strength, there's a, it's an, uh, a way of taming your your impulses to uh, to maybe uh, react in a certain way. It's just having this calmness and a sense of soft control over yourself. And that's how we show strength, is when we show love, when we show compassion, when we show kindness, and when we don't try to force things or to uh, manipulate or force or to seize you know the minds of others strength is about your inner reserve it's about you having what it takes to bridge the difficult times that you may be facing and it's always there you have your heart you have your courage to to take you through so that strength may come in handy when it comes to the Six of Swords. And we see in this illustration, we see the oarsman who is helping these people in here in the boat, uh, helping push them along along the water. And you can see we have purple water here. We have this greener water on the other side and often this is a card of transition it's a card of movement at a literal level it could mean that you're traveling somewhere on other levels it can suggest that you want to leave behind a situation that is not benefiting you and maybe you've been taking a lot of time to think about something uh, and now it's it's reached the point where you're going to put your fanny in the seat and you're going to move on. And you're going to move to the clearer, calmer waters that bring potential of smoother sailing within your life. So transition cards like this Six of Swords we leave something behind, but we're hoping to gain something that's going to help us wherever we go. And again, literal translations could suggest travel could perhaps meaning you're moving to a new location. Um, but often it's, uh, I've reached the point where I need to move on. And where I have been has, is not helping me. And so I'm in this boat and I'm being uh, helped to get to the clearer, smoother waters within my life. 
And then we have the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles, I think, has been turning up a lot recently. In the Four of Pentacles, we see the fox. The fox has got his feet on the pentacles and he's got a pentacle right under, right covering his chest and a pentacle on his head. And it's being weighed down perhaps by thoughts of your resources and wanting to hold, uh, hold on to them. This is also a card of control because it's establishing your boundaries and you're kind of like closing that loop. You're keeping everything within you. And so you're at a place perhaps where you need to watch your time, your energy, your money, and you're not going to make any crazy or bold moves with your resources. And maybe it's a sense of you've been uh, holding on to your investments or saving up that extra money because you know, getting to smoother waters, you may need to have a, um, a stash of resources that you can't expend all of your resources. There's also a thought with the four of pentacles that it's a miserly card, that it's a stingy card. You know, I don't necessarily always see that. I feel that um, people these days are much more mindful of how they spend their resources or how they partition their time or, you know, the ways that they've got to work to pay off some bills or school loans or whatever it may be. And so uh, it's, it's a, I think that maybe sometimes people pay closer attention to not wasting money or wasting their efforts and to hold on to things here. It's just kind of like the status quo. I'm going to, keep my reserve as it is before I do anything else. So, you know, what we have, we have moving to smoother waters. We have understanding that we have the strength to deal with whatever tough situation has come our way. We do it through kindness and compassion and through this soft control of our own reactions and actions. And then we're having a, a message here of holding on to what you have, of just being, thinking about what you have as well. So let's take a look at the numerology. We have, we have uh, eight and six is 14. And that's uh, 18 and that reduces to nine. And nine is about nearing completion. It's about spirituality, wisdom, and some idealism as well. So interesting. So to close the reading, I'm going to choose an Oracle card and we'll get a little more information. positive change. Well, that's interesting because again, six of swords is transition that something is changing and it's from your design. Uh, mostly your design. I take that back. It could be forced change. Uh, one never knows, but it's listen, the positive change that sounds good and more often than not, we're, we are leaving something that hasn't helped us in order to find a situation that's better, maybe a fresh start. So I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and come back tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.